So, I have finished year 12, which is really kind of scary because in September I'm going to year 13 and that's just a scary year. Like, I'm obviously I'm excited, but like, I'm more so nervous and scared of that year because it's like A levels and it's like, oh, will you get into uni or not type of year, you know? We'll see what happens. In this video, I'm basically going to give you my own experience and advice and tips I wish I knew before starting year 12. So, if you're going to year 12 in September, I hope this video helps. So without further ado, let's get started. So my first advice is to don't be scared to ask for help. Now, I went to a college which is a lot more bigger than my secondary school. It's like double the size, but it's not like a massive college, that makes sense. It is like, it's like a fairly decent sized college and I'm basically surrounded by a whole bunch of different people, different students, different teachers, and it can be scary to ask for help. But you have to understand that if you are honestly struggling with understanding different topics in your lessons, do ask for help because the teachers are there for a reason and they most likely do want to see their students excel in the subject. Obviously ask for help in lessons, ask for help after lessons, email or in one of your frees. If you are struggling to understand what you've done in lessons, I think you'd rather much kind of understand how to solve that instead of kind of struggling with it and just kind of being set back compared to other classmates. Next one is a lot more easier said than done and it's to be more confident in yourself, especially in the first like couple weeks of starting year 12. I think the main reason to understand is that most people in year 12 are in the same boat as you. They have gone to a whole like new different college or possibly a whole different sixth form. They're in a whole different environment like you and it's sometimes nice even though like I for example I am so introverted I am so shy in person but I did try my best to kind of be a little bit open than normal kind of initiate conversations and this could be from like complimenting someone's outfit obviously like do not lie like if you say oh I like your jeans even though you don't don't do that like don't set off like a possible great friendship on a lie obviously if you like the outfit compliment them that's a good way to initiate conversation ask them like what a levels they took or how the first day is going stuff like that try and find common ground and like you'll be fine try being more open-minded and like open my next advice which i think is really 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 important to understand especially like now looking back I probably should have like understood this and it's you don't be disheartened by your first set of mocks and tests and assessments you do in your subjects. So my business mock, I did, I didn't do awful but I didn't do the best. I almost failed, I won't lie, I almost did fail but I didn't and I was kind of confused because I was doing really well in terms of like my other business tests and little term assessments and then when it came to my mock I just kind of flunked it to be honest and I was really upset about it. At the end of the day it is like a learning curve. It take a while to get used to like the different examples and how they want you to write the answers and what to include in your answers and just mark schemes. I think if anything you'd rather much do your worst or do bad or like fail or whatever in year 12 instead of year 13 because year 13 is like your more serious year you try your best and revise as much as you can but if anything you fail at least you failed in year 12 and not in year 13. This one which i think is really really important is to do your work bit by bit i got my work done it take me a while because i do procrastinate a little bit but it is done i think like i said if you are a natural procrastinator and sometimes you know the work does pile up bit by bit and it does become stressful and becomes a mess and you feel like possibly you might want to cry after it so i suggest that you do your work bit by bit honestly you won't be in as much stress the next one which i found really, really useful is to read your notes from that lesson when you get back home when i'm in lessons i'm obviously focused i'm listening i'm in the room okay like i'm fully listening to the teacher i'm reading the powerpoints however sometimes my mind just kind of drifts off somewhere and i automatically write the notes down and i don't process what i've written down so when i get back home i always read what i've written in that lesson just because i obviously can kind of have it stuck in my mind it's also really useful just to kind of 
understand it for the following lesson. The next one, which I think is really, really important as well, and kind of something that I do want to emphasize a lot, is that friendship groups do change. Actually, if your um, friends' timetable clashes and you don't have the same freeze as, as each other, especially when you take the same subjects or A-levels, most of the time you won't be in the same class. Sometimes you may. It can be quite difficult. There's always opportunities to kind of make new friends, and that can be quite scary. It's a good thing, you know, you're making new friends, especially in your lessons. I think that's a great way to make friends because obviously you see them pretty much every time you have that lesson. You go and join extracurricular, great way to make some friends. It's different, like, there's always different like, ways you can meet friends. Next one is to wear something you feel comfortable in. Now, and I know that my college will definitely, and the sixth form near me, it's pretty much uh, whatever you like. Don't feel peer pressured to wear something because everybody else is wearing it. I love looking at people's fashion sense and fashion style at college. It's like one of my favourite things. Most of the time I wear just like a sweatshirt and some jeans, you know. Maybe a fun cardigan here and there, or maybe like a skirt. It's up to you, obviously. This one, which I did... It did take me a while to kind of used to is use your freeze wisely now in terms of my timetable from year 11 to year 12 i have a lot more freeze in year 12 because i'm taking three subjects compared to the is it six that i took in gcse i have a lot more freeze obviously don't just go socializing with your friends all the time but also don't use your freeze all the time to study and um, revise for everything because what time to do that at home as well it does take a while to find a good balance but you will get there don't waste them basically this one is if you don't like the a levels you're taking at the minute change them really simple at my college i'm pretty sure it's first within the first three weeks or until like the first term you are able to change your A-levels around if you do not like what you're taking. And that is completely normal because sometimes you might see, like, you might think you like the subject and then when you go to the first couple of lessons of the subject, you'll find it boring and it's completely normal. Just do change it as soon as you can because most of the time teachers are very much happy for you to change it. Obviously, if it's kind of within the time frame that they give you, if not, you're going to be stuck with an A-level which you are forced to take and make your life so miserable. So do change your A-level option as soon as possible if you do not like it. The next one which I've been doing recently is to go on open days, especially for university. If you're not going to university, I would suggest looking at what we do after college, like a work placement or like an apprenticeship. I'm not looking because I didn't realise, currently doing my UCAS application, like my uni application, and I didn't realise how soon it kind of started. It's nice to look at unis, whether that's kind of researching what uni you want to go to, the course you want to take, looking at accommodations, kind of trying to look at the opening days. I personally, I just use UCAS mainly and I just kind of type the course that I want to do and there's a bunch of unis that do the course. I just kind of went through each uni just to find which one that's suitable for me. And then I booked open days, which I've been to. You know, I just kind of look at the uni itself and what's around it and the culture and the kind of vibe there basically. And the last thing, which is the most important thing of all is to be patient. It honestly takes a lot of time to get you Used to it you're in a whole different learning environment new people new buildings new teachers timing of lessons i feel like really settled in now um but i think i didn't really feel settled in until like maybe two months in three months in so it does take a while to get used to everything but once you do you'll be fine, I promise you. That is my advice and tips and my own personal experience of year 12. I hope you found this video somewhat helpful. If not, I do apologize. I am really sorry. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like, subscribe and turn on your post notifications. I post every Tuesday, 6 p.m. GMT. I really appreciate it if you subscribe. I'll see you in next week's video. Bye.